about radio. Hi guys, um, in the last video I talked about uh, Litz wire and um, uh, the effect of silver plating on uh, capacitors, uh, but it affects other components as well. And uh, when I think about inductance, um, looking for inductance is like taking a, a motorbike engine apart and uh, and looking for the speed. <laughs> you know, it's not there. You uh, you measure it, uh, but at least with speed you can see it. But with inductance, it's something that you simply can't see. And um, you know, you'll see all sorts of uh, videos on YouTube, and they'll they'll show you an inductor, and I'll change the frequency. And uh, they'll say, look, um, uh, the inductance has gone up. And uh, you know, nothing has physically changed in the coil um, or the piece of wire or whatever it is they're demonstrating the inductance of. Um, uh, but you know, they say, as if like magic, I'll increase the frequency and the inductance increases. And they uh, wow, you know, that's great. And it's real, it really does happen. They say, well, what, what can happen? Um, well, in the previous video, I talked to you um, about uh, the, this notion of self-inductance or this property of self-inductance. And any conductor, any wire, any metal plate, anything that uh, you know you're going to use to carry electricity has inductance. And, it, uh, and each, indi piece, each individual piece of wire has its own uh, self-inductance. And uh, okay, so how does it change? Well, uh, because of self-inductance, the current that travels down the wire um, is controlled by the frequency that that current is operating at. So in the case of a DC current, you can have a conductor as large as you like in surface area, and reasonably, within reason, um, the current will pa pass uniformly through that conductor. Um, when you get into AC signals, um, that situation changes very significantly. And because of self-inductance, the current that would pass through the wire um, as a DC uh, signal is now forced to travel closer to the outer surface of the wire and um, depending upon the frequency of uh, this signal that's, uh, that's, that's passing through the wire uh, that will determine how far out the current is forced from the centre of the conductor and it's, let's say it's a property of self-inductance and at mains frequency uh, you could have a wire uh, getting on for an inch thick and reasonably current will flow almost uniformly throughout that wire. At, at one inch there will be a little bit in the middle where the current is not as dense as it is around the outer edge. If you take that same one inch diameter conductor and uh, you run it at a hundred kilohertz so um, same solid conductor, you run it at 100 kilohertz, because of self-inductance the current is going to be forced to travel in the outer eight thousandths of an inch. Okay, so that's uh, 0 0.008 inches or eight thou. And that's a fact, it's, it's the laws of physics. Um, if you run that same conductor, one inch diameter conductor, and if you run it at 10 megahertz, now the current will be forced, because of this property of self-inductance, the current will be forced to travel in um, the uh, outer, towards the outer surface, and that will be 0.0025. So in other words, 2.5 thou. Um, if you go to 100 megahertz, you're getting into high frequency now, then that skin depth reduces 
2, and I've got it written down here because I can't remember it, it reduces to 0 0.00025. So that's point uh, that, that, so that's point 0.25 of a thou, or if you like, 6.35 microns. And that's very thin, so you've got a 1 inch diameter bar or 25 mil diameter bar and because you've increased the frequency you are only going to get to use the outer surface. That's, that's the laws of physics. Um, it's a non-linear scale so as the frequency goes up so this, uh, uh, the, the, the thickness varies. Um, I'll put the formula at the end of the, uh, of the video. So um, you can see that if you use the whole of that conductor you get the whole benefit of the whole surface area, let's say at DC or at very low frequency, then the resistance of the conductor is going to be low because you are using it all. But as the frequency increases, so the current is, is crowded out to the outer surface or just under the outer surface of the conductor, um, and the inner part of the conductor may as well be hollow because the current is not going to flow there. There is no significant con current flow down the middle of the wire. And this is why the apparent resistance of the conductor looks higher. So at higher frequencies, you actually get to use um, uh, less surface area. So less surface area is a greater resistance. So the wire simply has more resistance because you're not using all of it. And it's this, uh, this uh, effect of self-inductance, uh, it's a magnetic effect. Um, and it exhibits itself in all sorts of ways. Um, uh, but once you understand this, um, you can start to come to terms with uh, why transformers have laminated plates of a certain thickness, uh, why ferrite transformers uh, use ferrite dust, um, uh, there's, there's all sorts of things, but it's having a clear understanding of what changes when the frequency changes, and it's the self-inductance of a component. So if you take a wire and you wrap it into a coil, it'll have one inductance at one frequency, but as you raise the frequency, that self-inductance causes the current in that wire to uh, uh, occupy uh, a space that is only close to the surface of the wire and as the frequency goes up so that skin depth or reference depth however you want to call it that skin depth becomes finer and finer and finer and this is why at high frequency um, coils, capacitors, uh, interconnecting leads um, uh, valve components are silver plated because the current is going to flow in that uh, outer surface or just under the outer surface of the component um, and as I said in the previous video I've seen the, the difference that a polished silver surface makes over a rough silver surface because if, uh, if this were uh, a buzz bar and uh, current is, is flowing in just under the surface, if the surface is rough then that current has to take a much longer path than if it is a smooth surface. There's another effect which I uh, brushed on in the uh, earlier video and that's proximity effect and that is where um, the uh, opposing currents in two buzz bars are sort of coming and going at very high frequencies those currents will uh, attract the current in the opposite conductor. So uh, typically uh, where I've used buzz bars to uh, transmit energy from an oscillator to uh, a coil uh, for heating purposes, um, it's necessary to take this into account because if you have the buzz bars uh, side by side, the, the current in the adjacent um, buzz bar will draw the current to this edge and to this edge 
and as I say at 100 kilohertz you will only get the, the benefit of eight thousandths of an inch down either edge but by putting the buzz bars on their sides then you get the benefit of eight thousandths of an inch down each side so um, the uh, effect of self inductance is profound and uh, it's affected by temperature it's uh, affected by permeability and, uh, and if they predominantly for uh, radio use it's affected by frequency um, I'll put some formulas at the end of this um, uh, little video and uh, hopefully you can make some sense of it so um, uh, it's interesting to understand uh, not just inductance but what what makes inductance when I said that a wire may be hollowed out because there's no current there in the middle uh, when I was working at uh, 100 kilohertz I would typically make uh, my coils out of hollow tubes um, and it simply pass cooling water down the middle of those hollow tubes and that would be um, a, a way of uh, removing the uh, the I squared R losses the resistance losses that remain in the thin skin of copper uh, where the current actually travels anyway I hope you found that interesting thanks for watching bye bye